I'm going to try this with a better light source. Um, my other film, uh, film, like I'm a movie maker, my other video turned out a little bit grainy, so I'm going to see if the root cause is just basically a deficiency of light, and I introduced some new sources of uh, light from different points. And just to show you guys uh, how ridiculous this setup really is, it's almost like as bright as the sun in here. Um, I ended up having 260 watts here, I have 260 watts there, 260 watts behind my power uh, my power tools. Uh, I used to have 260 watts there, but I ended up moving it behind because I have the two points of light behind me for um, for that light source. So I will try to keep the reflections and the glares uh, down as much as I can, but just because of the, uh, the points of light and the finished wood reflecting the light back, it's going to be kind of difficult, and I really apologize for that. So... Anyways, um, for this, we ended up using uh, this Kita wood dye, uh, five color wood dye system. So this is just one basic color that you could end up making uh, with the kit. They end up giving you uh, the five colors, uh, five colors of wood dye, which is yellow, brown, blue, black, and red. So you can modify this base uh, formula however you would like. If you wanted it a little more orange, just add a little more red. If you want a little more green, just add a, a little more blue, like, like a greenish tint to the yellow. Um, so it is just a, a basic starting point. So uh, it's, just, it's just a laundry cabinet. Uh, so I'm not really too concerned over the, the overall finish. It's just going to be sitting in the basement. It's not going to be in our living area or anything like that. So... Uh, there is a couple of, like little nibs and stuff like that, but I think that's more from uh, user error my fault because of my my spray gun. Um, sometimes the the tube just doesn't get cleaned up all the way, so I really think that that's from me. So I apologize for that. If it was a really good piece, I just end up sanding that out and reapplying. But I'm not going to be too concerned about it. I just put that back. Okay, so. Uh, I will end up leaving a full description of how I ended up getting to this color as well as a link, a link sorry, to the full length video so that way people can end up seeing uh, just a visual aid for what I mean when I say I ended up using 40% uh, of red, 40% of 1 8 teaspoon of the red. That just means it's 40% full. So. In, Instead of it being 50%, like half and half, it's just 10% less than than half. So um, in this way, you guys can have a, a good reference point and just modify your color however you would like. Um, and I hope that the color shows up better for this video. So we really appreciate you guys checking it out. And uh, I hope it helps out somebody in achieving a, a, a decent color for something that they're going to be happy with. All right, thanks. We really appreciate you guys watching our video, and thank you.